Hi, hello everyone. This is Dr. Chiranjeevi Manike, Professor and Head of Data Science and Cyber Security Department, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. As part of data mining video lecture series, in this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, what is a web mining and then we'll see the different types of web mining. In this lecture, we will cover one, one category among this, like uh, uh, the structure mining, web, web structure mining, usage mining and content mining. So here uh, we are going to focus mainly on the web mining. What is that is what is a web mining and types of web mining, and then we'll see in detail about this when web content mining. So again, let us uh, see the definition of what is a web mining or what is a web. So web is a collection of interrelated files on uh, one or more web servers, as we discussed in the previous lecture. So here. Uh, web mining is the application of data mining techniques to extract knowledge from web data. So the web data includes like the web webs could have a content like a text, uh, images, records, say, etc. And the web also has a structure like uh, hyperlinks, uh, tags, etc. And the usage web also could be mined based on the usages like based on the http logs app server logs etc will perform the web usage mining so let us uh, dig deeper into this uh, the concepts let us see and in this web mining taxonomy mainly as i said there are three types based on the content based on the structure and based on the usage of web so based on the content like what type of content like a text image audio video and also the structured records that is we could if we could divide this entire data the content into the structured and unstructured format and and uh, whereas in the structure web structure mining that is based on the hyperlinks and the document structure how the documents are linked uh, the uh, structure and how the hyperlinks link analysis that will be done that is the major fo focus of research in this area next web usage mining like uh, as a user we are using the webs like suppose if i want to purchase a product i i would visit the e-commerce websites like a flipkart amazon or any other online e-commerce websites so i would browse i spend some time uh, then I'll nav navigate, I'll browse the different products, I'll apply the different filters, I spend so that everything would be recorded. So based on that, how we can, what kind of information could be mined to improve this web usages. So like uh, web server logs, application server logs, application level log files, data would be analyzed to find out the meaningful insights or the knowledge. So the pre-processing web data that is a web content structure and usage whereas web content extracts the snippets from web document that represents the web document whereas a structure identifying the interesting graph patterns or pre-processing the whole web graph come up with the metrics such as a the important one is a page ranking and web usage user identification like uh, who are using uh, which website and we and how much time they have been uh, spent like everything session creation robot detection filtering and extracting the usage path, path patterns will be discussed under this web usage mining so let us uh, move a little bit deeper on this one particular topic that is called as a web content mining so web content mining would be defined as a process of extracting useful information from contents of web documents so the content data corresponds to the collection of facts web pages was designed to convey to the users it may consist of uh, text images audio videos or uh, structured records such as the lists tables etc so research activities in this field uh, involves using uh, techniques from other disciplines such as uh, information retrieval and natural language processing nlp the content preparation need to be done first here that is the extract the data in this content uh, web content mining 
the content need to be uh, prepared before we apply this mining techniques so we have to extract the text from the html like suppose in this uh, here on the left hand side of this image you can see the html code and this is uh, the this uh, screenshot i have taken from the by using a tool which is available in the online that is to convert or to extract the text text from the html so i just copy and pasted this uh, html text on this left hand side to this tool and it has produced the output as a normal text that is the text which is useful right the remaining or are the different tags used in this html like a page title is identified and this is a heading this is a paragraph this is a text extracted from this so this kind of uh, extracting the text from the html would be done as part of content preparation next perform the stemming that is to identify the root uh, identify the root word of a particular word like suppose here you can see the consult uh, consultant consulting consultative consultants consulting like so the we have to identify the root word that is a consult so that is we that will be performed it is a performance in a stemming part then removing the stop words this is another very very important thing in the text analysis like suppose uh, you can see this is a sample of uh, stop words that is specified as a vector like a stop the to and ye etc so these from the text this these uh, all the stop words are whatever the stop words you want to remove that need to be specified and those need to be removed so that is that will be done here that is remote to remove the stop words and then collecting calculate the collection wide uh, word frequencies so like each document uh, would have a uh, uh, many number of words and uh, that 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 word also may be repeated in many number of documents so that frequencies would be calculated here that is to calculate the collection so like suppose there are n documents n documents n documents here so like if you take the term term t and the collection frequency that is how many times how many times this term t occurred in this collection so that gives the term frequency and whereas the document uh, the the collection frequency of this term that is number of uh, times this uh, term t occurred in this collection whereas a document to frequency document to frequency of a term t would be measured as the number of documents are having the term t so this kind of uh, calculations would be done in this content preparation next vector creation that is another important thing that is a common uh, information retrieval technique so each document that is html page is represented by a sparse vector of uh, term weights this he, uh, tf and idf term frequency and the inverse document frequency weighting is also the most common thing typically additional weight is given to the terms that is those are appearing as a keywords or in the titles next there are some common my data mining techniques would be used the most basic and popular data mining techniques include the classification clustering and association rule mining and there are some other significant ideas like topic identification tracking uh, the drift analysis concept hierarchy creation relevance of the contents etc so the document classification would be done based on like a supervised and uh, unsupervised techniques so if you use the supervised techniques means supervised as we discussed many times in the previous lectures also so the each tuple would be labeled with the class label so categories are defined and documents are assigned to one or more existing categories so suppose there are uh, the collection n number of uh, documents and those documents would be categorized uh, like uh, sports documents uh, for uh, politics or education or technology health or like that this the those documents would be categorized into this 
so the definition of a category is uh, usually in the form of a term vector that is produced during the training phase so training is performed through the use of documents that have already been classified because it is a supervised classification technique so we use this this performed through the use of a document that have been already classified the so documents are already labeled so based on that so the, we are going to classify the new documents so that means we have to identify the document which is belongs to a particular category like suppose uh, if you as i said there are like a sports category the documents a sports category documents education education technology or a stock or political like uh, these are the different categories just um, assume that so different categories of documents so the each document based on the content available those are labeled as uh, these different categories so based on that if suppose if any new document is uploaded into this uh, server that document would be classified based on the content so if it is matching like the the content in that document is matching uh, or talking about uh, the sports or education like that based on that it will be its category would be assigned next uh, document clustering using the unsupervised technique so here the documents are divided into groups based on the similarities like all the documents which are having the more the, the, the content about the sports or education so like the that grouping is done based on that similarity so no predefined notation of what the groups uh, should be here the most common similarity metric is the dot product between the two document vectors next one is the topic identification and trapping uh, tracking that is using a combination of clustering and classifications so as a new documents are added to the collection a new attempt is made to assign the each document to an existing topic or a category the collection is also checked for the emergence of new topics and the drift in the topic is also identified next another thing is a concept hierarchy creation that is creation of a concept hierarchies is a another important to understand the category and the subcategories as a document belongs to so the key factors includes organization of categories like a flat trees or the networks and maximum number of categories for the documents and the category dimensions etc like a subject location time alphabetical numerical next the relevance of the content so here the relevance can be measured with respect to any of the following criteria like a document query based or user based role or the task based so let us see one by one so the relevance is based on the document so here if you go back the relevance of the content based on the document relevance so here measure of how useful a given document is in a given situation so commonly seen in the context of queries so results are ordered by some measure of a relevance so like suppose uh, if you if you want to search for a data mining so then i might use uh, any such browser let us say the google chrome browser so i want to search for uh, i want to search for the data mining i just want to search for the data mining so in this case i i will first first open the browser and uh, in the search bar i will enter this uh, phrase uh, data mining i'll then i'll press the enter button once i hit the enter button and it will display the the urls of the documents so urls of the documents will be displayed and this is based on the relevance some ranking that will be discussed later so the based on the the rank decreasing order or the relevance decreasing order that means this the first document url will be the the will be placed on top that that is the that means and this url the document which is available in this or the the page 
which is uh, relevant related to this url will give up more information or more relevant to the search query like data mining so then the less relevant will be placed in the next position like this this is the way when we search for uh, any any kind of or when we enter a query in the search engine and hit the enter button it will display the the list of urls in the rank decreasing order in general a query is not uh, necessary to uh, send the relevance score to the document next uh, query based relevance so it is a most uh, common in information retrieval well established in the information retrieval so similarity between the query keywords and the document is calculated so it can be enhanced through the additional information such as a popularity or the term positions next user based relevance so often associated with a personalization so profile for a particular user is created and similarity between a profile and a document is calculated so here the no query is necessary and next another one is a role or the task based relevance that is similar to user based relevances the profile is based on a particular role or the task instead of an individual so here the input to the input to profile can come from the multiple users next and let us see the what are the applications of this content mining so here we can identify the topics rep represented by the documents and we can categorize the documents and find the web pages across the different uh, servers that are similar so applications related to the relevance like uh, queries those enhance the standard query relevance with a user role and other task based relevance and recommendations that is to list uh, list of top n relevant documents in a collection or a portion of a collection like the top uh, top n documents top n urls would, uh, would be displayed like that next to filters that is to show or the hide the documents based on the relevance score so that's it so next we'll see the the web's usage or uh, the content content uh, usage mining and the other categories of the web mining.